the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. And, and I, I think that's one of the things I'm making sure, that's why I'm saying we're all accountable because regardless of uh, what happens, well, not so regardless, but the fact is if you do not have the advocate Christ to speak on your behalf, because see, Christ can cross the chasm, mm -hmm. the gap. Abraham can't. Lazarus can't. The rich man, with all his money that he had, that he couldn't take with him. He couldn't get across on the other side. And he was tormented. And those of you who don't know that story, don't worry about it. We will cover that either today or next next session. Because you know what? I want you another thing too, Brother Asin. I, and I don't know if you, as you talk to people on the golf course and you're, you're walking in the ministry and you know, being out there, have you come to the conclusion that a lot of people don't know the stories in the Bible? Yeah. That is, and you know, and those stories have a meaning behind them, a purpose behind them, right? <laughs> so that's, that's why you have a, uh, we all have a message because a lot of people either, either in church ministry or don't go to church, don't know the word of God don't know the meaning in the background. You know, and I like what Bishop was trying to get us to do. He was saying, I need y'all to get, what's the central theme, right? But we may, with, the problem is most of the people out there don't even know the basic <laughs> theme. So we have to we have to show them. That's the whole point about that. It's, it's not nag, it's not a put down. The fact is that the body of Christ is supposed to do the work of the ministry and teach people to do that. And with that, I was showing them when you came in, I went to the uh, Lord's Prayer. Because, it, it, you know, I think I like now, the more you keep getting into it, you see he's actually re-emphasized. Even the, 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 the feasts that they have for the he Hebrews, mm -hmm. they're all what? Reminders. That That's basically what they were, right? They're all telling a message. All bringing to remembrance. Uh, of God's will and what he has done and, and 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 the responsibility of even the foreshadowing of the of the of the sacrifices of saying there is a savior coming there is a blood sacrifice coming that's going to cleanse you of your unrighteousness and so look at the Lord's prayer as another reminder's prayer is what I was saying in Matthew 6, verse 9. After the man therefore pray ye, our Father which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Is the fact is that we, we're talking about the Creator. We're talking about the fact is He's located in heaven, not in the space, guys, not in the sky, but in the third heaven in another dimension. And hallowed be thy name is saying, How great are you because you are the Creator of us all. We're only here because of Him. But look at his reminder, thy kingdom come. He's telling us to remind ourselves to always call for the kingdom of God to come. Are you writing that, you writing that Romans 14, 12 now? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. It, it, did you read it? Can you see it or do you need? Yeah, yeah, I read it. <laughs> and it's that name. <laughs> Every one of us <laughs> shall be accountable or account to God, give account to God. Isn't that something? Yeah. I had to make sure it said everyone. <laughs> everyone, everyone. And whether you call yourself a Christian or not, you all will give an account to God. Uh, some of us, if we got the app, we got our advocator, then we're gonna get account to what works we have done, right? And then we talk about the work, stubble, hay, and all that other stuff, right? So, so they, Somebody's gonna make that decision. What do you got a stubble? What do you got a hay? Right? What do you got silver? What do you got gold? It, it won't be you, right? <laughs> It'll be him. And that's who we gotta give account to. That's why he said, Thy kingdom come. And here's a big one. That's a kicker. Thy will be done in earth 
as it is in heaven. And I, that's one, so, so some of those people, people is listening and will listen, forward it to somebody else because you need to forward it to somebody else. You need to be able to teach it to somebody yourself. You don't necessarily have to use a video, but you need to use the words that's coming from here and be able to tell people the Lord's Prayer itself is saying, His will be done. Not just in heaven, but in earth. God wants His will to be done. His kingdom to come. His will be done in earth as in heaven. The kicker is that Christ even Christ said in the Garden of Gethsemane. He said, nevertheless, because Christ was like, oh man, this is rough. What's getting ready to happen is rough. If there's any way, is this cup? Can, 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 I, can I pass the cup to Brother Addison? <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> even he probably looked at, nah, he, he, I can't give him the cup because his blood ain't going to, you know what I mean? <laughs> can I, you know, can I give it to Peter? Can I give it to somebody else? No, I can't because that that theirs won't do. Woo. And and so the father, he said, nevertheless, Father, let that will be done. Uh I, I wish I could pass this cup, but I can't. Let your will be done, nevertheless. And that's what that scripture reminded us. Thy will be done, people. And if you taught, and I'm talking about the fact that if someone's got so caught up with political parties and 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 and, and dividing our country over this over the fact is that we let our behavior, our actions, and everything else line up with the approval of our political affiliation, or our color of our skin, uh, our ethnic group, and all that other stuff, and not understanding that His will be done in earth as it is in heaven. I like that because that's what I call it the reminders prayer. When they said the Lord's Prayer, it's a reminders prayer that you're supposed to do His will. We're supposed to do his will. I like my fact that I, I even think about it now when I say our father, he's trying to say hey, all of us, you know, with that scripture we just read, right? Romans 14, 12, you say everyone, right? Look at the prayer. The prayer saying, uh, plural, all of us, our father in heaven, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Say, so give us this day our daily bread. What is his daily bread? The word of God. So he's telling us we need to feed ourselves daily with the word of God, with the will of God, understanding the will of God, so we can do what? Do the will of God. <laughs> you know, we he talking about just a commandment. He's talking about the fact there's a way of life, people. The just shall live by faith. He says in verse 12, and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. He's telling us we got to forgive one another as we forgive others. So we will to give, forgive one another. And then I like, lead us not into temptation. But I do want to let everybody know he will put you to a test. But the thing about it, when he sends you on a test, you can pass his test. If you can't pass the test, he didn't send you on it. Because he knows you can pass the test. Amen? <laughs> but deliver us from evil. And that means don't be evil. If he's trying to deliver us from evil, why would you be evil? Why would you pick on the tools to be evil? Uh, he, you don't want to be delivered. You want to be delivered from evil, so you don't want to be the evil that need to be delivered from. So yeah, that, that from. Why, come on. Why, why do you want God working against you? You say, "Ooh, hey, T-shirt." <laughs> why would you want you? You don't want God to be working against you if you want if you're evil. You need to be able to be on the good side so that you're working for you on your behalf amen so and that's what i'm saying that that all that guys people i'm talking you know the atrocities we're talking about you know the the hate that some of us have for one another and teaching one another disrespecting one another putting one another down we know that and you know that's not god's will for you to do that if god said to love one another you shouldn't be hating for once any closed up again it said for thine is the kingdom Reminded you, look at him. I think the scripture says, seek ye first the kingdom of God first, right? Seek his kingdom first. And I'm saying it's his power that we're looking at and his glory that we're looking at. Not our own glory. In a lot of cases, people go about vain glory. He's talking about his glory. And then he says, amen. And I just want to make sure you emphasize other people said, Matthew 6, 14, for if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly father will also forgive you. He, You know, it's funny. He gave the what we call the Lord's Prayer 
And then he, he re-emphasized it in 14 and 15. And he's telling people in 15, but if you forgive men not their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. So you need to understand that it is critical. He, Christ even telling you, you're our, receive, our redeemer, our savior is saying in 15, listen people, because some of you taught to hate generation to generation, not forgive nothing. He said, if you forgive men, not their trespasses, are you listening to the words that are coming off the word of God? If you forgive men, not their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. And I see with my, my mom and I was talking uh, the other day, brother, and I said, I think you probably dealt with this before, where you, you may be dealing with someone and letting them know it's important not to do and hate or, you know, forgive that person. You know, you're seeing people, though, I ain't talking to that person no more, you know? And and if you could, you try to intervene a little, you know, uh, they'll snap on you. Have you ever had somebody snap on you for, you try to suggest them to do the right thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And, the, and you can see in the, in the viciousness that comes out of it. Have you ever, you, you notice it, right? It, it's just, could they feel like a righteous anger, a right reason to have this unforgiveness in them? And, 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 and in some cases leads to violent behavior. You know, we, we've seen it. And, and and I was telling uh, I was telling my mom I said, what do we do it this way? And and I want to throw this at you too. See what you say, because I think you we still get the reaction even with that. Is it is written <laughs> that you're supposed to forgive <laughs> that person, and, and that person may go off on you, but you can say, look, before you finish going off on me, understand this: it's not my will; it's his. If you really want to deal with it, go talk to him about it. Because there's no justification for your forgiveness. Talk to him about it. I didn't bring it up. He brought it up. It's not my suggestion. I just wonder sometimes would that help people if they recognize that, oh, I'm not I'm not giving you my suggestion, my opinion, my, my you know, I, I'm giving you what's written. And maybe you can weigh that for yourself because it's a worth and and nobody and nobody everybody was said nobody was willing to go to death, destruction, to hell or the lake of fire, willingly. But some people feel so angry about something, right? Have so much unforgiveness about something, they subconsciously, because they're not saying it consciously, but subconsciously saying it's worth going to hell for. Yeah, what's the there's many many of folks especially this these younger generations mm -hmm. that don't even believe in god yeah they don't believe in satan they don't believe in hell they don't believe in jesus christ so uh it's been said that you know they make mockery of it you know uh that you know uh, uh some may even joke about it. Well, I'll just be going to hell because that's where the party is. Oh, you know, I heard that like for the song. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> that that is is uh, amazing. Yeah, to me because even as a little boy, mm -hmm. uh, longevity was on the forefront of my mind. Come on now. As far as, you know, death, I was aware of death. And I always, I would, I would sit back and, and think and try to put myself in the hereafter. Uh-huh. You know, I would, I would sit up and, and think about, it. you know. Yeah. There's got to be something. Yeah. After this, it just, my brain just could not fathom that 
what is is no more come on you yeah. know i mean yeah. I, I just don't it it escapes my intellect yeah yeah i, I just can't i i can't I, don't, I just can't understand how anyone could think that once this physical body is gone, that the intellect, the, the soul, yeah. the thought, the, the, the personality, the existence, mm -hmm. the awareness just ceases and that's it, that that's, that's it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. My mind has always been eternal. Right. I, I'm, I'm thinking. That yeah. Now, that, that's how I think that I always was because I just could not understand nothing. Yeah. It, 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 it does not compute in my mind. Right. Right. I, there's just, I don't even know how to put it to, to, to explain how i can't understand it. yeah that there's something more you know in other words that 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 is that the, we got what five senses right yeah. is, is is that sixth sense that that sense that doesn't focus on the physical of the five senses but focus on a spiritual sense mm -hmm. a spiritual understanding and I, I was looking at the I, you know as you come into your uh your relatives homes and especially when you know when your mom was alive you saw pictures on the wall right just like you have pictures on your wall now and 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 these people exist right or have existed you know well, they exist <laughs> yeah i hear you right and some of them have moved on to another realm of reality another life uh of existence and and to will we can believe something but it doesn't make it true if we can't and i'm talking about those who don't believe their son after, after after death i can't i you're right i can't prove to you that you will but i think your senses there's something in you already that tells you and that's what you're talking about there's something in you that said there's more to the to my existence than what i see touch smell or here i have this something else and, and that's I mean, that you, you can also look at other cultures mm -hmm. you know you have the egyptians you know they they just they truly believed yeah you know there there's proof that they believed in an existence i, I mm -hmm. mean they thought that they could take riches mm -hmm. into that realm. yeah yeah you know uh <clears throat> obviously they these grave robbers that's what i call these so-called scientists mm -hmm. that's all mm -hmm. they are to me yeah they're they're yeah. grave robber uh but uh they they find evidence of that you have these vikings you know norwegians they believe in valhalla yeah yeah you know that's their life after this existence right you know and then there's there's uh the, the South Pacific folks, you know, they believe in life. Reincar yeah. You know, reincarnation and, and life. They, they actually put up food every mm -hmm. day. Food and yeah. water. Yeah. For those who have gone on. Yeah. You know, the Korean. And, yeah. And Do they the have uh, 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 celebrations for their mm -hmm. ancestors. So, um, uh, it I just, just it, don't, don't know it, of a a a nation or a a group of people that don't believe this. I think mm -hmm. you're taught not to believe. You taught that, and, and or, or reason it out not to believe. A because to me again, I think it is so that the accountability piece is yeah. not you. As long as you feel like I ain't got to be accountable to anybody, meaning to God, I can do what I want to do. Because if I, if I put my focus on you. To be that you, I'm accountable to you. A lot of cases, people do say is I can be if I can not be in your presence. And see that again, that's another thing. When we try to make it get uh, accountability from mankind, for our fellow brethren, we know that we don't have to be in their presence all the time, right? We yeah. we we know that they can't see your heart. 
They can't see your spirit. They can't see your soul. So they figured I can get over you. And I read a, they did it. You know, I guess, oh, first of all, people, one of the things we need to say is that God is a spirit. You know, Genesis chapter one, we we're made in the image of God. John 4, 24 said, God is a spirit. And on top of that, you cannot even worship him, except for where? In spirit and in truth. And in truth. So, so we are all made in the image of God. And there is God help the people, the even ministries that sit there and try to focus on the image on you as your flesh? Because that is not the image. That is not the image of God. You are made in the image of God, meaning you are a spirit. And you only and look. Look at the other thing about it. You can't worship in any other way. You can't communicate with any other way but through your spirit. It's not so much what comes out of my mouth. It's what comes out of my spirit. Uh, and that's why we want to talk about. I think that's why this message is so important today, right? Is the fact that you are held accountable unto God. And here's the scripture to start off. I let you read these for us uh, today. I, because that's for discussion, but people, I'm telling you, this is probably the most important message that of study that you should ever take, and and I recommend you do this. So let let our brethren who don't know the scriptures that we're going to talk about today, he know which one's going to be presented, but he get the revelation and how God uses them on that. So what we got here today, good brother? It says, for it is written, as I live, saith the Lord. Every knee shall bow to me. Woo. Mm -hmm. Every tongue shall confess mm. to God. Mm. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. And then you can stop there first if you want to comment on that before we go to Hebrews 1, right? What do you think about that? I think that, <laughs> <laughs> that it is what it is. It is what it is. I mean, I just can't imagine anything happening outside of this physical realm. Right. Without him being a part of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I and I need to talk about the fact is that he said he this one is the uniqueness between all the other faith people out there, belief system and everything else out there. The Bible is very clear. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess to God. The, 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 the ultimate confessions that you will make, whether you like it or not, you don't have to believe it, that's fine. But all I know is, is that that's what's written there, is brother Asen, you, you will bow down to God. So hear the words we said today. And then when you do bow your knees, remember that you heard that. And because you will do it. Every knee. You know, that's, that's also in Old Testament too. Isn't it? I think that came up in Old Testament. Well, right. The, the son about every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess. To who? <laughs> See, that's why I want, that's why I think it's the most important message for everybody to hear today. Or when this thing is posted and hear it again, is you will confess to God. And guess what? You will not lie to God. Because He's going to see you as an open book. <laughs> Just like He's going to see me as an open book. we too busy trying to get approval of people. You understand? You It's not people that you need approval from, it's Him. And that's why I look at that. And that's why I'm using that simple theme for the text today. Every one of us should give account unto God. That's what you need to understand. That's why they said, what, to reverence God, to, 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 to fear God. And, and, and I will tell you what that Exodus story, you know, after we, chapter 20, after God gave those commandments, and they sit there and said, Moses, you, you remember that? <laughs> Moses, you, you, you go. You go talk to him, Moses. We got you. We got your back, Moses. We ride or die, Moses. Whatever you tell us, what we're gonna do. And then a few chapters later, the golden calf popped out. 
because it's easy to give account. Some of us rather give account to a fellow man than a give account to God. Because I know I could say a few days, a few years later, I don't know what happened to him. What did it say? What did it say? What is a Moses? They say, I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do? Get the gold of calf out. <laughs> I think that may, I think that has that think that's a symbolic message of a cow in itself, it is, isn't it? It is, you know. Um, <laughs> you 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 can't expect that calf to require <laughs> anything of you. nothing. You, you got to carry and, it. And the, the responsibility of your life is Woo. dictated upon yourself. Woo! I just thought, yeah. I, I mean, how can, how can a creator create and be mm. subject to the creation? Mm. Yes. You know, uh, that's, yeah. that's look, man, man can't conceive that because look what they say about AI. Yeah. Oh, I Artificial know. Artificial intelligence. You know, it, it, it would destroy us. It will, <laughs> was it? If we bow down, if we bow down to it. It will, it will sit there and recognize the equation. You are the unknown variable. When I look at things, this goes wrong. The unknown variable is you. Yeah. You are what a radical, what's some, some of the things called radical uh, 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 element or something. Yeah. It's, just, it's just not consistent. It's just not rational. <laughs> irrational you know so if i move the irrational out of the way did i did a lot of the things that need to be done correctly is done that's why we need to understand we need our creator and and when they sat there even in exodus by saying moses you go talk to them all they was doing just like adam and eve is because remember we laughed about that the other day they, they stood afar off <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like they took off running. <laughs> they, they made it way, they made it back to the camp. <laughs> and prior to the tent, Moses, you, you, uh, and Moses probably kept running behind him. What y'all doing? What y'all doing? <laughs> Moses, you go talk to him. And they even said why they wouldn't talk. You remember what they said? Why they wouldn't talk to him? What they say? Why they wouldn't talk to God? Why they said, Moses, you go talk to him? Because if they talk to him, what gonna happen? Oh, they're gonna die. <laughs> Less we die, to be exact. <laughs> exactly. Isn't that the same? If you think about it, that was the same thing Adam and Eve took off running. They hid themselves. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.